Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm making pimento cheese. This was a recipe that's actually in my cookbook, but I never thought that anyone would want to see a video about it. But then I did this video last week, getting high and eating chips, and I mentioned pimento cheese, and like every comment was like, I want to see that recipe. So here you go. Don't ever say I never gave you anything. <music> Pimento cheese has cheese in it. I like sharp cheddar. I'm gonna start grating that up. Some recipes use American cheese, and as much as I love American cheese, uh, I really prefer sharp cheddar in this. Mild cheddar is pretty good too, but um, I like I like strong flavors. I like my flavors like I like my men. Uh, so I'm gonna grate this by hand. I'm not gonna use the pre-shredded kind because again, I feel like the texture of the finished pimento cheese is way better if you do it by hand. It's a pain in the nuts. It's my least favorite thing to do, grating cheese, but I'm gonna do it for you and for myself because I haven't made pimento cheese in quite a while and I'm really excited about this. Here's how you grate cheese. Don't grate your fingers. Rule number one. Okay, some for the chef. I'm not really a chef. So, we've got our cheese grated. Now, traditionally, pimento cheese is like pimentos, cheese, and mayonnaise. I like to use cream cheese as my base. So I've got some cream cheese here that's been sitting out for a little while. It's gotten kind of soft. Just kind of mash that up. And then I've got a whole, whole lot of cheese here. I don't really know, I'm pretty sure this was probably invented in the South. I don't really know why, but maybe to like make cheese go further because you're kind of diluting it with mayonnaise. But you can buy it in the store, like in the cheese section in little plastic tubs. To me, like all the store-bought pimento cheeses I've ever had are too sweet. Um, like they actually add sugar, I'm not into that. So, I'm just gonna start mashing this together. And this is really good, like just pimento cheese sandwiches, they're classic. Pimento cheese on celery sticks or carrot sticks if you're trying to be a little bit more healthy. And then lately I've been seeing like pimento cheese on burgers and stuff at restaurants and like pimento cheese grilled cheese, super good. All right, that's a little combined. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of mustard. I like to use like a grainy deli mustard such as Ray Poupon. Man, I miss those commercials. And I am gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise. I don't think this is enough to put anyone off if you're a mayonnaise hater. It's only a tablespoon. And it's really just to kind of loosen the mixture up a little bit. I like my pimento cheese loose. Like I like my women. Now, once that's all combined, it's time for the fun part. So, pimentos. You've probably seen these. Maybe you haven't. Maybe these are new to you. They're like in the canned um, vegetable aisle. If you have seen them, maybe you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do with those? They look weird and boring. And they are, kind of both of those things. But I'm gonna drain the liquid off over here real quick. So yeah, they're a type of red pepper. They're a sweet pepper. Um, they're similar really to like a roasted red bell pepper that you get in a jar, but milder, I think. They don't, they're not quite such red bell pepper flavor. To me, like roasted red bell pepper can be a little too strong. And then my other secret ingredients that I like to add, of course, are some pickled jalapenos. These are just like... And then I add a couple of pepadus, which are a sort of a sweet and a more fancy grocery store that has um, like an olive bar, you can buy them there. And I'm gonna just dice all these up really small. Sometimes um, I like to add capers too, capers are really good. Or even like, you can add like diced up dill pickles. I like adding something kind of pickled to add a little bit of tartness, because it can be, obviously it's really rich with all this dairy that's going on. Nice, and then I saved a couple tablespoons of the pickled jalapeno juice. I'm gonna add that to 
again, for the vinegariness and for a little bit of um, liquid, just to make this a more spreadable and sort of dippable consistency. Okay, once it's all mixed up, you're ready to eat it. You can put it on a sandwich, you can put it on a burger. I did a jalapeno bacon cheeseburger video a while back that this would be like so ridiculously good on. And then also check out the getting high and eating chips video where you can find out how we got started talking about pimento cheese at all. Let's give it a taste. I'm gonna put it on a Triscuit. Triscuits are my favorite crackers. It was so good, I'm like praying, which is like totally not like me at all. Thank you so much for watching. Remember the recipe is always available at highlycooking.com. And if you wanna check out my cookbook, it's on Amazon and also at my website. I'll put a link to that. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week with more cooking videos. Bye. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this.